Welcome back to this new Pizza Raid tutorial. Today we want to create a quick sci-fi landscape. Let's jump right in. Okay, here we are on a fresh plot scene. Today we want to use our cube. So let's hop right in. Let's press N. Go to item and want to change this now to 100 by 50 by 50. This one will be our building later. So let's make some changes. Let's press tab. Want to press Ctrl R to make a loop cut. Let's make a mouse click here in the middle and press escape and want to change this Y now to minus 0.5. Now let's make another loop cut. Ctrl R again. Let's press the mouse and escape. And I want to bring the Z value to 0.5 as well. Now we can change here the selection mode by pressing on this button or on the three. Now I want to press W to use this selection here and let's select here these front faces and now we can press x and faces let's go to the edge selection mode by pressing 2 or on this button here and we want to select here now uh, this edge this one and this now let's press f same thing again this edge this edge this and this now let's press f again now we have closed this one now we want to create some details, so let's press Ctrl R again. Let's make a loop cut here in the upper part. Press Escape. Let's bring this loop cut here to 0.9. Let's make another one. Ctrl R, Escape. This one goes to 0.8. Another loop cut. This one goes to 0.7. And the last one, Escape is on point six now we have to go back to the face selection and bring the radius a little bit down 10 now let's select this corner here and this one and this face and this one now we want to extrude here some stuff so let's use this menu and extrude along normals press the mouse and bring this here down and we want to use this menu here and i want to go to minus 0.08 and we want to check on the offset even. That looks good. Let's press tab again to leave the edit mode. And to get here a little bit more of details, I want to add here uh, an add modifier bevel and change the value here now to 0.001. And we're having here these tiny edges, which is a little bit better than the sharp one. Let's bring this to the final position, select this one. We want to go now to 25 by 25 and now we have to bring in a new cube and this one is 5 by 25 by 50 and let's bring this to 5 to 25 as well and don't forget to add the modifier bevel one okay let's duplicate this cube I want to bring this to minus 10 50 again and 10 that will be our building and if you want to uh, bring this to another position maybe you can select everything and press g that's okay but instead you can create a plane axis empty here and select the cubes um, drag and drop them by pressing shift into the empty and now when you uh, select the empty and press g you can move this one around and it's a little bit cleaner so what we need else is um yeah the plane this one is 250 by 250 and the last thing is the mesh landscape if you don't have this in your menu just search here in the add-ons for landscape and enable this one Let's go now to landscape. I want to scale this now to 132 by 85.1 by 18.2. And let's bring this now to a new position, which is 72.7 by 14.7 by 1, 0, 0, minus 90. Yeah, we need this one several times today. I want to duplicate this one again, and let's change this now to 132 by minus 114.7 by 1.2 and this one is now our final view something like this here now we want to fill up here the horizon so let's duplicate this one again and let's change the position here to 
minus 76 by minus 8. And the last two landscapes now shift and D. Let's increase now the scale to 218 by 141 by 35.5. I want to bring this now to minus 85 by minus 121 by minus 1.5. And let's rotate this one to 37. Let's duplicate this one one last time. And this one goes to 40 by 140 by minus 1.5 by 0, 0 and 0. That's basically our scene here. But as we can see, uh, we are seeing the ends of our landscapes. And to, to change this, we have to push our plane a little bit in the Z value to 2. So that looks a little bit better. And now we can change here our camera to the final view. So let's press 0 on the numpad. And I want to go now with 128 by minus 83.8 by 16.5. Let's go with 90 by 0 by 66. And I want to change now the focal length here to 19. As we can see, some stuff is not showing up here, and that's because we have to increase here the clip end a little bit. Let's go with 1000 and everything is back here. Yeah, and what's missing? One character. So let's put our guy here in our scene. Now let's go here with this one by 124.45 minus 84.8 by 15.1. And I want to go with 48 in the Z. And as we can see, our guy is a little bit here in the landscape. Looking not so cool. And to change this, we have to select here our landscape. And go into the add modifier and add um, subdivision surface. And I want to go with 2 here. That looks better. Let's bring in here the viewport display as well. And now we can bring a second window. Let's change the render engine here now to cycles and GPU compute and change to rendered. For today, I want to use here in HDRI. So let's go here to the HDRI, easy HDRI. I put a link into the description for uh, this tool and for the HDRI as well. I want to create now new world nodes and we want to use here the misty farm road today let's hop over to the shade editor and go to the world i want to rotate this a little bit so let's go into the rotation to 125 let's turn down now the last node here to point three okay that's everything for this one and now we can start with some materials so let's go back to object and we want to select here now the first landscape so new material landscape let's select the principle bsdf i want to use here the node wrangler as always we don't have this one enabled just search here for wrangler and enable this one now let's select this one and press ctrl shift and t or add principle setup go to your folder and we want to use the rock 12 let's select the color displacement, normal and roughness, normal GL and principal texture setup. Uh, yeah, now this one, maybe let's go here to material preview. This one looks a little bit weird, but to change this, we have to uh, change this one to UV to object. That looks better. And we want to bring in here a ramp and turn down this white slider a little bit. So this one is not so glossy here. Maybe do something like this. And I want to increase a little bit the normal map to 4. A little trick is when you are select everything where you want to put this material on. So let's select this one, this, this, and this. And the last mesh should be this where you want to copy it from. So um, this one. And now let's press Control l and now you can link materials and everything is on this one as we can see here in the front uh, i think it's a little bit too big for me so i want to have a little bit more detail in the here in this part so i want to duplicate this now by pressing on this maybe let's rename this here to front i want to increase here the scale to 15 by 15 it looks a little bit odd here in this one but we are seeing 
only a little part here of this. Okay, now we can go ahead here with this water. For this one, we want to create a new material. I want to change this to black and turn the roughness down. Looks cool right now, but I want to have a little bit more detail. So let's go with the noise texture, bring this one into a bump, the high channel. And this one goes now into the normal. Let's scale this to 70 by 15. And I want to turn, turn down the strength a little bit to 0.25. And now we have to create the material for the building. So let's select here our cube. We have already a material on this one. So let's change this now to material building. Same thing again. At principle setup. I want to use the concrete 44A. Uh, let's go with the color displacement metalness normal gl and roughness and as we can see here now um because we are added here some faces this one looks not so cool and yeah i know in the video or in our rendering it's not visible but i want to make this a little bit better so what we have to do now is go into the edit mode press a to select everything and now let's go to uv and cube projection now that looks better, but I want to rotate this here now to 90 degrees in the Z value. Yeah, the only thing which I want to change is I want to add a curve here in the base color and bring this a little bit up so the building is a little bit brighter. And okay, now we can link here the material as well. So let's select this one. The last is our building and press Ctrl L, link materials. And that is better here. Yeah, the front <laughs> looks a little bit stretched, but that's okay for now. Now we can go ahead and add here some fog. Let's add a cube. This one is 300 in every axis. I want to add here a new material. Let's rename this to fog and delete the principle. Let's search for a volumetric scatter. Bring this one inside. Okay, and now it's time to bring this a little bit here into a grayish. And I want to turn this now to 0 0.005. We're having a little bit of fog. And now we can go ahead and use here our light. And this one is an area light. So let's change this now. I want to change the color here to something white bluish. So let's go ahead with this one. And I want to increase this to 8000. And let's bring this to a new position. 5 by 5 by 16. Let's rotate it to minus 90 by 0 by 0. You can see that this one is now here in between. And I want to scale the rectangle up here to 4 by 20. Maybe let's make a new collection for this one. These are the lights. And I want to uh, duplicate this, not with Shift D, with Alt and D. And let's bring this now to minus 5. And when you are changing here the color, maybe, um, that goes uh, for the other light as well. Yeah, let's duplicate some lights here to add a little bit more lights here in the upper parts. I want to duplicate this now with Shift and D because we want to change here the ratio of the rectangle later. So let's go now with 30 by 0.3 by 44 by minus 90 by 90. And let's change this now to 8.3 by 33. Now we can duplicate this one by pressing Alt and D <laughs> because the size doesn't change. Let's go with minus 30 and maybe we want to have another light here on this edge. Now we can just duplicate this one here with Alt and D and go with 47 by 17 by 44 by minus 180. That was this tutorial and if you like my stuff check out and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me check out my Gumroad or Blender Market page. See you there and bye.